everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and tonight you're watching me on Bodabra. So as you come in, be sure to thank Dad for recording me tonight. Uh, we have three videos back to back, and we are excited because we have lots of spring ribbons on our table. We're going to create a tulip wreath. Uh, is everything okay, Dad? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just don't uh, see anybody. Here we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. So, okay. yes. Yeah, so, as you guys come in, let us know where you're watching from. Uh, I got to share it now, Dad. That's why. <laughs> but here's some of the ribbons we're going to be using. So, let's take a quick glance at those while I get the feed up and running. Uh, but I hope you're all having a great day today. We uh, had kind of a busy day. But also here is the both of the Bodabras. So we have the Bodabra Mini, and we also have the full-size Bodabra 2. Uh, so, you know, both of them work for two different reasons. We often, uh, we've only used this one uh, once. We used it last week, uh, which was a lot of fun. We created a little poinsettia, which I think I still have right here. So let's show that off. We created that last week in case you guys want to see that. Nikki's first time making a flower with it. Yes. <laughs> and it was lots of fun, and we were able to do it. So that's kind of nice. All right, so we're all good to go. So as you guys come in, also be sure to comment down below that you'd like to win a free roll of scrunchy ribbon. The color choices are, Dad? Uh, red, gold, and silver. That's right. Um, so feel free to comment down below your you know, color choice. Just for my own curiosity, I always kind of find it interesting uh, to know what you guys are interested in. So we're not going to start with the wreath quite yet. We have to make a few bows. So we're going to use our large bow dabber today. So here's what the large looks like. Me today, personally, I'm in a gold mood, guys. You're in the gold mood? <laughs> I know gold. Well, I think gold works the best for um, like New Year's wreaths, you know, winter wreaths. Yeah. So we're just going to cut a length of our Bodabra wire. And here's what the wire looks like for your viewing pleasure. Bodabra wire, 100 yards. Yes. And it comes in red. Uh, it comes in gold or silver. Yep. So uh, also Bodabra has a ribbon kit available, both with the Bodabra and the ribbon separately on uh, the link. Uh, the Bodabra will post the link down below where you guys can order uh, through my affiliate link. But what we're going to start off with is some gingham ribbon. So I think we're going to do kind of a, you know, four color choice ribbon to start off with. What do you think, Dad? We'll yep. do the blue. We'll do the orange. We'll do the yellow. And then we'll also do the green for spring. How's that look? Doesn't nice look spring colors, Easter type colors. They're Easter, cute. Yeah, I, I like them. Yeah. Uh, so let's work in those. So spring is right around the corner. So for those of you that aren't quite ready, uh, just know that us designers have to be ahead of the game. Uh, we started making Christmas in June. And, you know, we only have a couple reads to show for it. So uh, we have to stock up early. That way we have as many different uh, choices available for our customers. So we're going to place one piece like that. And we're just going to alternate between each ribbon. So uh, lots of you guys are commenting down below. Paula says silver, silver. So Paula, this year, I don't know what it is, but I've been on such a big silver kick. It's not even funny. So I probably would choose silver personally. Come back in with the yellow. You can cut your tails however long or however short you would like. And if you guys don't mind sharing this video and giving this video a big thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And also, if you enjoy seeing us every Monday on Bodabra, definitely let us know. Uh, drop a comment down below. That, we know, that, that way we know you guys like me and want to see more and more of these videos. And more than anything, my goal with them is to do what, Dad? To Why teach them how to make bows. To me, teach how to make bows, but more than anything, what do we like to do? Add people to the community. Add, add Grow the community. To inspire. Yeah. Inspire. Yes, yes inspire. Um, Dad's quite forgetful. <laughs> I feel like that's a word we use every night. Uh, but we, we, more than anything, want to inspire you guys to get crafty. And we have almost 300 viewers already. Thank you guys for tuning in. So what do you think of that? Isn't that kind of a cool, cool bow? I like the colors. So we'll probably, should we stop there? Should we come back with one more layer, Dad? What do you think? Um, I'd stop there. You stop there? Yeah. All right, let's stop there. Dad says stop, so we're going to stop. So we're going to take our wire, pull it from one side to the other. I always like to cut it longer than we probably ever will need. And the reason for that is, is I just feel like it's you know better to have a longer piece of wire, be a little bit wasteful, uh, knowing you have enough than having to wire a whole extra piece on. So we're just going to take the wire, pull it to the back, and create a couple knots to really make sure that it's staying exactly where we want it. Hey, Richard. All right, so we're going to dovetail. I see we are at 310 now. Thank you guys very, very much for that. So to dovetail, we're going to take our ribbon, fold it in half, and cut from the middle out towards the edge at an angle. And in doing so, it creates very professional edges to your ribbons. 
If you guys are in the business of wreath making or designing, uh, this is definitely a must do. But even if you just make bows for gifts, for friends and family, uh, for your own home, definitely do this step too. It's a little bit tedious, especially if you have a lot of tails, which we don't on this bow. Uh, but if you do have a lot of tails, uh, you're going to want to do it still because it makes such a big difference. Wouldn't you say so, Dad? Yep, makes it look elegant, yeah. Definitely. I nice agree. finished look, you yeah, know? Yeah, finished. So we'll just fluff that. Pull those loops apart, make sure there's no creases in our ribbons. And that's what we got with what? Four pieces of ribbon, that's about, what, two and a half, three feet each? Look how cool that is. So Beautiful. I'll trim up this tail, that tail's a little bit long. These colors look this really one. nice together too, isn't it? Don't they? I really like these colors. So what do you guys think? Show some love if you like that bow. I do, I think that's really pretty. And imagine having like a little Easter bunny and putting this on. It's like like a little bow tie. Wouldn't that be cool? Be cute, yeah. Uh, so that's our first bow. We're going to make another gingham bow. Not right this second, uh, but in a minute or two. So let's transition to our next bow. Hey, Penny, welcome. So the next bow, I thought we would do something a little bit different using these two ribbons. So here we have a watercolor ribbon and a, um, I forget the uh, name, of a pin, pinwheel stripe or pinstripe ribbon right here. So both of these are nice quality, nice thick ribbons. So for this one, let's do this. Let's start with the watercolor. So every bow doesn't have to be, you know, perfect, you guys. I can't stress it enough. Uh, enough. If you like the color combo, that's all that really matters, whether it goes together or not. If that's the color you like the best, so be it. You know, do it. Hi, Maria. So we'll cut another length. Maria's from wire. Boston, a local gal. Welcome. Hi, Maria. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching us again. Thank you, guys. So we're going to take this, work our wire in. So we're placing our wire at the top. See how we're just going through that little slit right here? Yep. And then I like to just take my wires and tuck them underneath our bodabra, like so. Now we'll come back in with our watercolor. We'll cut our tails first. You can cut your tails however long or however short you want. Uh, these ones are about, I'd say, 22 inches on either side or so. Maybe more. Not either side, maybe total, right? On either side. Yeah. So 20, no, not 22 inches total. About 22 inches on either side. That's so pretty about big, a 40 yeah. inch piece of ribbon or so. That's a nice color, too. Isn't it? It's called the watercolor ribbon because it has different shades of one color, which I really like. We'll come back in with one loop, twist. See how I'm twisting it completely backwards? Place it in like that. Twist again. So now we have one loop on either side. We'll do another loop. And that's going to be it. We'll just do four this time. Usually we do three of each. We'll do two of each of this one. Now we'll come back in with our green. So these bows, I mean, for bows, you guys, you don't have to start with full rolls. Uh, I love using leftover rolls because I feel like I'm kind of getting... You know a lot of use out of it you know i hate wasting things and i never throw out any ribbon whether i love it or not so we do have lots of rolls that i'll probably never use um but i just don't like being wasteful so because well, usually you, you probably have enough to make one ribbon or one oh, yeah, bow rather you know what but I, mean? I mean even if you have like a foot long piece you still can make it work so now we have two pieces on either side about three inches or so and we're going to finish it off with one kind of smaller loop only being about two and a half inches and that's all we'll need and i see we're almost at 400 thank you all so there's our final loop. You can also take your Bodabra wand and slide it in. Uh, if I'm going to be honest, I very rarely, if ever, use this. I usually just compress my bows in my hand uh, using, you know, just my hand like that around my Bodabra. But if you have lots and lots of loops or if you have a very, very thick bow, you're probably going to want to use that to compress it. But we'll take our wire now. See, we have one kind of looped end and then two tails. doesn't matter which way you bring it or which way you put it in. Now we can take it out. Hi, Edna. Sarah wants a Bodabra. Hopefully somebody got it for Christmas. So Sarah, share this video and tag a, f a family member. They can order one for you in the comments section. You know, just say something like hint, hint, and they, they, <laughs> they'll definitely get the hint. Uh, but Bodabra is on back order right now. So the next available shipment, I believe, is in, uh, you know, the first week of January. They'll start shipping out all of the new Bodabras. So, you know, just be patient. I, I think every company is just behind this year. Every single company. Worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. So now we're just fluffing it open, pulling those loops and tails apart. 
Boy, I'm loving these festive colors tonight, Nick. I know. Look at how festive for spring, not for Christmas. I but, know. You know, I mean, I've seen Christmas trees decked out in yellow for Christmas. You know, it's whatever color you like the best. And I can't stress that enough because if it makes you happy, who cares what anybody else has to say? Right, Dad? Yes, sir. All right. So there's our second bow. And I see we're at almost 450 now. Thank you guys very much. That's very pretty. I can't find a Bodabra. No one has one. I really would like one. So, Diane, uh, you know, you can purchase one in the comment section of this video. Um, and then once they're available to ship out again, you'll be getting one. Uh, so, I, like I said, the first week of January, they should have, you know, their next big shipment in. And then thereafter, they should have, you know, plenty again. So, we're just going to take our wire again, place it into our Bodabra. So Boda Eber says they will start shipping out uh, December 29th, it looks like. So it looks like even earlier than what I was told. Awesome. That's awesome, yep. yeah. Yeah, even better. So we're going to create another bow. And this bow we're going to actually design for our wreath. So stick around because we have a wreath that we're going to be creating. So my question for you, Dad, is we have some of these beautiful orange tulips yep. and white tulips. Should we just stick with the gingham ribbon uh, or should we work in our polka dot ribbon? What do you think? So that's the polka dot. Here's the gingham. I like the polka dot. You like the polka dot? Yep. With these? With those, yeah. Okay. So dad wants polka dot, so we'll do polka dot. So this ribbon I've had, I you actually bought me these rolls of ribbons, dad. Uh, we Is that have from like, Jacobson? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Like 10, 15 <laughs> rolls of these uh, that dad stocked up on, I'd say several years back. So what we're going to do now is just cut a length for our tails. Take our tails, place it into our bodabra, like so. And I'm going to do a traditional bow for this. I think it'll look really nice. Tulips are Gail's favorite flowers, so I love tulips myself. And Yaya's always been a big fan of red tulips and yellow tulips. Um, and I used to be a big red guy in my garden. But ever you know, ever since I started watching Garden Answer, and Dad knows who Garden Answer is, um, Laura with Garden Answer really loves softer colors, purple, shades of whites and greens. Uh, and she's definitely kind of switched me over to that for my own garden. Uh, which is kind of crazy, because how much red did we used to use? I know, I used to use a lot of red, you know, yeah. I, so red's kind of not so much, you know, relevant in my garden anymore. But we do find an occasional tulip pop-up in my yard that's a red one, which is kind of funny. And I just leave them because, you know, what the heck. We I still have some them. roses, I think, on the side, right? Yes. On yep. the side of our house, Yaya planted a rose bush, I'd say, 25 years ago. And we probably have gotten a total of three blooms all those years. <laughs> um, once you first put it there, I bet it was in kind of more sun, but... Uh, it's kind of pretty much in full shade now. And roses need their sun, uh, like full, full sun. So Actually, uh, I, you forgot that we cut a bunch of trees down, so we might be getting some more oh, sun there. we get some yeah, roses yeah. next year. Yeah, we cut a lot of trees down on our hill this year, so we should have some rose, you know, blooms. And that, Dad, even though, like like I said, it's not like the healthiest shrub. It yeah, doesn't yeah. do well. It dies back to the ground every year, you guys. That is one of, uh, I'd say, one of two plants that if we move... I'm taking Take it. With you. <laughs> Do you know what the other one is, Dad? Uh, Let's see how well you know me. I'm trying to think now. All right, I'll just tell you. So we have a beautiful clematis vine in the front of oh, our house. Oh, on the front. That's right. Yeah, you'll uh, take that climbing one. Climbing up a shepherd's hook, which we've upgraded this year. So those two plants are the only two that I'd be taking from my yard. Everything else, all the money that we've spent, all the time that we put in, will stay with the, <laughs> the new owners, but those two are coming with me. No, we all have sentimental... Th oh, never mind, I lied. Three. We also have a peony bush that I've divided over the last couple of years just to make sure that, you know, if something happens to it, we still have it. Um, that will be coming with me too because Yaya's had that for, you know, 35, 40 years too. So that's not going anywhere. But to Dad, he has no idea. He could walk by the same plant for the, you know, last 25 years he's lived here and he would have no clue when it was there. Uh, but me, I'm a little bit more sentimental than he is. So we're going to take this. How pretty is that? What do you guys think? That's awesome. Very simple, right? So we'll take that. We'll place it on our wreath. So here we just have a kind of a flimsy 18-inch grapevine, and it's still going to work, you guys. I'm not too concerned about that. So we'll tie it from behind. Tie it off twice. Then I'll flip it over. And again, you guys, who's excited to see our new setup once we start that? So we're starting... Uh, to take everything out, uh, I'd say this week, you know, we're going to get through Christmas first and then we're going to revamp my entire shop. So you guys need to help me give gonna, dad the push. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a process, but we need to help, you know, give dad a push to help start this because it's going to be no fun in the beginning. But once we start, you know, the designing aspect of it and revamping it, I'm going to be so excited because, um, 
yeah, it's time for an upgrade, time for a new shop. I'm so. actually excited because there's things we probably have that we don't even remember anymore. Oh, there's plenty of things that we have no <laughs> idea that we still have. Uh, so there's our bow in place. We're going to come back in with some of these beautiful... Uh, Despina can't see, uh, can't wait to see the new setup. Me either. I'm so excited. So we have some of these pretty uh, tulips now that we're going to work in. So we'll just take our wire snips and begin cutting them off. We don't need a super long stem because we're going to keep everything kind of nice and tight around our bow. And we'll cut two of them. It'll definitely take two. So just snip, snip, snip. See, we're at almost 450. Keep those shares and likes coming, you guys. We appreciate it. Helps us inspire more and more people. We want as many people to kind of master the art of bow making because bow making, Dad, still to this day is like the most you know, received question I have. Bow making and my glue really? skillet. Those two questions seem to be something that'll be around forever. Um, so, you know, lots of people still struggle with it. And I really want to have as many people kind of figure it out as possible because it's really not that hard. Um, I know I say that, but, you know, if you're just starting out, I understand how difficult it really can be. But like I said, once it clicks in your mind, it just becomes common sense after that. And you're just like, why didn't I realize that before? You know, that's what happened to me. And it's going to happen to you guys too. And my goal is to get you there. So just taking some of these tulips. We've done all sorts of tulip wreaths over the years. Um, we have one big storage tin left of these tulips. And that's it for the year. We'll probably get some more as they start coming in. But yeah, I don't, think they're pretty. Don't forget to mention you guys want to win the free ribbon. Yes, don't forget. Comment down below. The color choices for the scrunchie ribbon are red, silver, and gold. Uh, and for my own curiosity, uh, I would like to know what color you guys like the most of those three. Me, I'm still on that silver kick, so I'd probably still choose silver. But you could do red for Valentine's Day. You could do silver and gold for Valentine's Day, too. Uh, but red would be great for Valentine's Day. And all you have to do is just comment down below. That's it. And yes, she is doing well, thank you. No, she hasn't even made any cookies yet or anything. She's just been exhausted I lately. Know. I don't know if the surgery took a toll on her, but she's been really tired lately. Yeah, she has been tired. Lately. So she was going to make start making some cookies today, and I said, just relax, Ma. You know, when you when you feel like it, you can do it. So. I know. She's the cutest little thing in the world, though. You guys <laughs> know how cute she is. Um, but that seems to be a good enough amount of tulips for me. Uh, so now what we're going to do is take some of the tulip heads, pop them off, and work them inside of our bow, because that's just what I like to do. Uh, if you don't like that look, you certainly don't have to do it, but I do, so we're going to work in some more. So let us know how your day was, too, you guys. I hope you all had a good day. We are live here, and then after this, we will be live in Nick's exclusive wreath community and then live on our page. Uh, we scheduled our Christmas tree video for 7.57 tonight, which I'm excited for. Uh, the Christmas tree with all of the candles in it. Um, which I really like, Dad. The pictures just don't do it justice for whatever reason, which kind of makes me upset. Uh, but when you see it in person, you guys, those candles look so cool and so different. It looks really cool at night, too, when I'm going to bed and I shut all the lights off and those are still glowing. It's yeah, kind of like cool. Yeah, they like flicker. They like flicker. Look at that. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I mean, we could work in some greenery if we really, really wanted to, which, you know what, let's just work in a little bit. So here we have some of this, and that kind of looks like the, you know, tops of carrots. What do you think? <laughs> I love the polka dot with the with the uh, the ribbon. I know. I, I mean know. The, um, the tulips. I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks really, really nice. nice. And that ribbon is a ribbon we use for fall. So another thing I want to encourage you guys is to think outside the box. If something's labeled for spring, you absolutely can be using it for summer, you know, fall, and even winter. If the color works, that's all that matters. I'm not going to do orange for you know winter, but I know lots of designers love orange, you know, for year-round use. So, you know, for instance, like the tulips, I often think of tulips as a spring flower since they are spring blooming flower. So I probably wouldn't use those throughout the entire year, but you know, there's no rule that says you can't. Judy made fudge and peppermint bark. Mm. Ooh, that sounds good. Nick loves fudge. I love fudge <laughs> and peppermint bark. I know. But yeah, so we're gonna just take a little bit of this greenery. See how much I'm using, what, three, four pieces, just enough to enhance it. Don't have to go overboard. I'd love a red ribbon. I enjoy seeing you. Uh, your, I so enjoy you, your bow and wreath making. There we go. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, so if you guys do enjoy seeing us here on Bodabra, definitely let us know. Uh, when you guys let us know, it lets us know that you want to see more and more of these videos. And my goal is to, you know, have as many informative videos as possible for you all. All right, there's our final little piece of greenery. 
and tell me that's not cute. That is cute. Right? For what? Two bushes of tulips, a couple pieces of greenery, and a few yards of ribbon. And that's what we ended up with. So not everything has to be overdone and overcomplicated and, you know, full and luxurious. Something like this is what, you know, I'd say most people like. Just simplicity, uh, inexpensive, and very easy crafts to make. So this is something that would make great gifts yeah. for teachers, uh, for friends and family. And they don't know exactly how much you've paid, like, spent yeah, for it's it. simple and elegant, yeah. It's just so simple. You could also put a monogram on one side, a letter, uh, which would look really cute too. You could do it in white. But now what we're going to do is make even more bows. You know, we can never have enough bows. So here's what the Bodabra looks like. We'll give a close-up now. And you can order it on Bodabra.com, and they will be shipping December 29th. Yes, so uh, instead of going to Bodabra.com, actually go to the link down below. Uh, we do have an affiliate link, and I would appreciate if you guys use that, uh, which redirects you to Bodabra.com. Um, but yeah, they have kits together too. They have, look at how pretty is that burlap? This burlap. That's yeah. nice. But usually I don't like wrinkly burlap, but I think today it's going to look nice because it's going to look a little less uh, rigid and a little less perfect. Not every bow has to be perfect. Uh, but like I said, Bodabra also has kits available with the Bodabras and the ribbon. And if you already have a Bodabra, you'll probably never need another one in your lifetime. They last that long. I mean, I've this one I'm using now is eight, nine years old. You know, that's how long I've had it. And it works still just as well as it did the day I picked it up. So we'll cut another length of our wire and we're gonna do a burlap bow now. So I'm just gonna take our wire, place it underneath our bodabra like so. Look at how cute the little mini one is. That is cute. It's so cute, I can't get over it. So we'll just take that. Now we'll start creating some loops into our bodabra. So we'll do a funky bow with this because I, it's such a imperfect ribbon that I think the tail's looking a little wrinkly would look nice with this design. So I'll actually show you two different bows using this ribbon. So just create your loop, cut your tail, place it into your bodabra. You can dovetail as you work it in, or you can do it all at the end, uh, which we usually end up doing uh, very at the end. Uh, I don't like sitting there and doing one piece at a time, so we'll work in three or four pieces of this. You can have them pre-cut, right, Dad? You yep. can have them all measured out and pre-cut. Or what I do is I just eyeball it. You'll never see me sit there strategically measure something out. Uh, I'm just not that kind of designer. I don't have the patience for that. And even if you're just starting out, you know, people are like, oh, well, what if I'm a newbie? I don't recommend it, you know, because I kind of went into that mentality of trying to get it right. And I went crazy. So you don't have to sit there and be super, super specific with your lengths. Uh, just use kind of guidelines. Like I said, these loops are about four and a half, five inches or so with tails about, I'd say, six to eight to ten inches uh, doesn't have to be exact, doesn't have to be perfect. So snip it off, place it into your bodabra. We'll do one more. We only need four on this. We don't have to go overboard. So just kind of eyeball it in your hand, see if that's to your liking, which it is. Cut off your tails and place it in. See how uneven the tails are? Look yeah. how much longer that is. Goes to show that it doesn't make a difference. And you're gonna see that in the end. Now what we can do is just kind of compress it with our hands. So if we added like 10 loops, see how much higher it would Yeah, be? it's thick ribbing, yeah. Then you can use uh, your Bodabra wand to really compress it in there. Take your wires, bring them from one side to the other. Just pull them through. Almost at 500. Thank you all very much. Don't ever stop your live videos. I love them so much. You teach me so much. Well, thank you, Diane. I appreciate it. Uh, that's why we do these. Uh, I... I really want as many people to kind of realize how crafty they can be because I think everybody's crafty kind of in their own way. I'm not going to sit there and say everybody, you know, is super crafty. For instance, dad oh. is not the most crafty guy, but he, he's very innovative and he can think of great crafty ideas. Um, but just believe in yourself. All right. So we'll dovetail those real quick and then we can fluff it out and give you guys one final visual as to how pretty this bow is. And then... Uh, by a show of hands, who wants to see one or two more bows? We still got a couple minutes left. We made a wreath. We made uh, three bows now after this one. And what else do we did, do? I think that's it so far. So four or five things. Maybe we can squeeze in one or two more if that's something you guys would like to see. Now we can fluff those loops out. So like I said, this is kind of a wrinkly ribbon, uh, which I'm not used to using, but I think in certain like floral designs, this would still look really, really nice and look pretty um, because it's kind of natural. It looks a little bit more relaxed is the word I'm looking for. 
little is bit it, more relaxed. Is it harder to make those bows when, it, when the ribbon's that thick, Nick? Or? Well, it's not super thick. Uh, the wires are thick on this, but the the fabric itself, see how you can kind of yeah. squeeze it? The fabric isn't super thick like regular burlap ribbon we use. Uh, but I wouldn't say more difficult in that aspect. It's more difficult for me because I'm so used to using such thick, you know, rigid ribbon. And I also forgot to buy Dad's shoes for Christmas. I got to order him some because he's still very, very squeaky. I haven't even noticed. <laughs> yeah, he's very squeaky. So there's that bow, you guys. Something very simple. Kind of more relaxed, more natural that you can tuck in flowers into. Uh, this would be fine on a present too. Um, but for spring and summer, nothing has to be super rigid and super perfect. So maybe this will be a nice wreath bow that we can try one day. So if that's something you guys would like to see, maybe we'll make one using this fabric next week and show you guys how it turns out in a wreath because I'm kind of intrigued to see because it's something different. All right, so do we see enough hands up? Do they want to see another bow? Yeah, more bows. All right, we can squeeze in one more bow for you guys. So we'll do, how about a beach bow? Let's do a beach bow. A beach bow. A beach bow, or a beach kind of colored bow. We have some of this beautiful navy blue ribbon. So we'll just take that. Actually, we'll do a Valentine's Day bow. Valentine's Day is coming up, you guys. So we'll just place that into our bow like so. So all we do is just cut a length of wire, fold it in half, and place it in. Yes. What do you think? Yep. Isn't that pretty? We used this in a live on my page the other night. Uh, and this is the leftover roll, you guys. So again, you can make many bows using, you know, one or two rolls. This is only 10 yard increments too. You know, it's not a lot of ribbon. So with this, what we'll probably do is a traditional bow because it's such a kind of a traditional colored ribbon. It's not super bright. See how it's kind of a little bit yep. more natural. So we'll take our ends, dovetail them. Sue said, do you always use wire ribbon? Um, I'd say about 95% of the time. Um, we don't do as many fresh floral designs as I would like. I did go to school for uh, floristry in Boston. Uh, so I do like using non-wired ribbon for my fresh floral designs. But, you know, for artificial, I strictly use wired ribbon. You'll very, very, you'll never see me use non-wired. So we'll just place it in. See how I place it in back backwards like that? So again, comment down below. We're going to be drawing the winner any second now. So real quick, comment down below you'd like to win a free roll of scrunchie ribbon, and you might be the lucky winner. Again, we're gonna take it, pinch it, reverse it so the back side's facing up. And I like to rotate my bodabra um, with my hands, so you're just gonna have to kind of get a feel for it. <laughs> Shirley Stokes said, I think the shoes only bug Nick, LOL. <laughs> they do bug me, Shirley. <laughs> I don't even hear it, Shirley. <laughs> yeah, I hear it, it's like a little mouse. I hear squeak, 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 squeak. So I gotta get him some new shoes. That's, that's on my to-do list. I'll probably look at those tonight. Uh, it drives me crazy, Dad, <laughs> hearing those little squeaks. So maybe we'll, wear, hear maybe we'll wear our slippers down here from now on. But we're going to just do one or two more loops. We don't need too many. So Sandy says, watch me tomorrow night at 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Sandy will be doing gift wrap ideas with the mini Bodabra and regular Bodabra. So definitely tune in for Sandy tomorrow night. And we love Sandy here. Sandy is awesome. Me and Sandy have some of the best conversations imaginable. Uh, I could talk to Sandy for hours on end. Um, she's she's awesome. She really is. And I mean, she created the Bodabra, so just think of how cool she is. All right, so that's enough loops. We don't need to go overboard. So four or five on either side. I don't count. I don't really care. Uh, it's not going to make a huge difference. Just consider less loops means a less full bow, but that's sometimes what we want. More often than not, that's what I want. Take your wires, bring them from one side to the other. Oh. Pull it tight. Nell would love a free roll of ribbon. Awesome, Nell. So any second now, Bodabra will be announcing the winner. And, uh, you know, stick around because you have to be around. And also send a message after you win to Bodabra. And they'll be more than happy to send a roll of ribbon your way. Connie okay. said, Nick, who did you inherit all that talent from? Um, <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding, guys. <laughs> I'd say yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah, yeah. I love my dad to pieces, but my dad's never been, you know, the the handyman kind. He's never been, you know, a super construction guy. Uh, but he's very innovative. My dad's not, you know, I heard the squeak. My dad's not great with like doing stuff like this, but he thinks of ideas that I could never think of. Right, Dad? Aren't you? you sometimes, better, yeah. Sometimes you I'm with good thinking than you know creating. Um, so we each have our own little talents, but I definitely get the hands-on thing from Yaya. Yaya doesn't sit down, and that's where I get it from. I'll, I'll wait. She's upstairs probably doing something right now, you know. 
But here's the traditional bow, and I think that's really pretty for Valentine's Day. Or Mother's Day, Dad, right? Very pretty ribbon. For very Mother's nice. Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. Look at that. Even, I think this would work for a winter bow, too. You know, kind of a, a pink rose gold wreath. That would look nice, too. So that's the bow. We created one, two. We also created this one. We created a wreath. Edna Patrick is the winner. Congratulations, Edna. Congratulations, Edna. And we thank you each week. I see Edna's name in the comments section. Yep. Uh, so when you guys comment, it lets us kind of have the chance to get to know you guys. Uh, we have lots of frequent viewers, and you guys are greatly appreciated. So we created a more relaxed burlap bow. Uh, we also created this beautiful... Um, oh. We lost a couple pipe cleaners. We created this pretty uh, spring orange bow, which is kind of fun. You know, not orange is, orange is not used every day. And then I think that's it. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight on Bodabra's page. I'm Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor. I will see you all next Monday um, at 7 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to tune in to Sandy tomorrow. Uh, she will be live uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, creating bows for presents using the mini Bodabra and uh, the full-size Bodabra. So thank you all. I love you guys. Congratulations, Edna, and I'll see you all next Monday. Bye, everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy ho oh, yeah. Happy holidays. <laughs> Christmas is here, Yes. Guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, good night. Good night.